savvy. Across the globe, stories are told through the subtle notes of local spirits. We're here to uncover these tales, one sip at a time. Welcome, dear listeners, to a journey that transcends borders and time, a journey that takes us deep into the heart of the world's most iconic distilleries. Imagine the echo of centuries-old traditions, the whispers of artisans, the scent of grains being transformed into liquid gold, all coming together to create an experience that's as rich and complex as the spirits themselves. Every sip of a finely crafted spirit is a sensory tale, a narrative that unfolds in the glass and tells a story of its birthplace, its creators, and its journey. As we traverse the globe from the peaty highlands of Scotland to the sun-drenched vineyards of Portugal, we'll be immersing ourselves in these stories, savoring every note, every nuance, and every echo of the creator's vision. But this is not just a journey of taste, it's a voyage into the very soul of these regions, their history, their culture, their people, and their passion. It's about understanding the art and the science of distillation, about appreciating the savvy craftsmanship and the intricate processes that transform simple ingredients into spirits that thrill the palate and stir the soul. From the barley fields that feed the whiskey stills of Scotland, to the grapevines that yield Portugal's famous port wine, from the rice paddies that supply Japan's sake breweries, to the agave plantations that fuel Mexico's tequila industry, we'll explore how each region's unique geography, climate, and culture shape the spirits they produce. And let's not forget the distilleries themselves. These are not mere factories, but cathedrals of creation, where time-honored traditions meet innovative techniques, where the magic happens, where grains, grapes, fruits, and plants are transformed through fermentation and distillation into a symphony of flavors that dance on the tongue and linger in the memory. So buckle up, listeners. We're about to embark on a savory and sensory adventure that will take us to the heart of the world's most iconic distilleries, where we'll discover the stories behind the spirits that have delighted connoisseurs for centuries. Ready to uncork the essence of these destinations? Welcome to the rugged highlands of Scotland, the birthplace of whiskey. Nestled among these windswept hills and crystal clear lochs, you'll find the heart and soul of a beverage that has become synonymous with Scottish heritage. Imagine standing in the midst of golden barley fields, rippling under the touch of a cool highland breeze. This humble grain is the foundation of every dram of Scottish whiskey. It's soaked in water, germinated and then dried in kilns, often over peat fires, which imparts the whiskey's distinctive smoky flavor. Savvy whiskey enthusiasts will know that the type and amount of peat used can significantly impact the final taste of the whiskey. Next, the malted barley is milled and mixed with hot water in large vessels called mash tuns. This process extracts the sugars from the barley, resulting in a sweet liquid known as wort. The wort is then cooled and transferred to a washback, where yeast is added. The yeast feeds on the sugars, producing alcohol and a wealth of complex flavors. The magic continues in the distillation process. The liquid is heated in a copper still, and as it boils, the vapors rise and condense, creating a potent spirit known as new make spirit. This raw, unaged whiskey is then filled into oak barrels and left to age. Over years, even decades, the spirit matures, drawing flavor and color from the wood and mellowing with time. The end result is a symphony of flavors a harmonious blend of sweetness, spice, smoke, and much more. Of course, the whiskey's journey doesn't end in the barrel. It's carefully bottled, labeled, and shipped across the globe, ready to be savored by connoisseurs and casual drinkers alike. Each sip is a testament to the land it hails from, the people who crafted it, and the time it took to perfect. From the peaty highlands to your glass, that's the story of Scottish whiskey, a story of patience, craftsmanship, and a deep respect for tradition a story that's waiting to be discovered, one sip at a time. As we leave the highlands, we find ourselves in the sun-drenched vineyards of Portugal. The land here is alive with the rhythm of nature, a rhythm that has been respected and nurtured by generations of winemakers. The vineyards, stretching over rolling hills as far as the eye can see, are a testament to the country's love affair with winemaking. Portugal's wine is as diverse as its landscape, with each region offering a unique blend of flavors. The Douro Valley, renowned for its full-bodied reds and crisp whites, is steeped in tradition. Here, the vineyards cling to the steep slopes of the Douro River, creating a stunning tapestry of green and gold. Then there's the Vinho Verde region, the birthplace of Portugal's famed green wine. Don't let the name fool you though, the green refers not to the color, 
but to the youth and freshness of the wine, a characteristic achieved by harvesting the grapes early. This savvy technique results in a wine that is light, slightly fizzy, and incredibly refreshing. To truly understand the soul of Portuguese wine, we delve into conversations with the vintners themselves. These are people who carry the wisdom of the past, the savvy of the present, and the dreams of the future in their hands. Every harvest, every press, and every pour is a labor of love, a tribute to the land and its bounty. As we tour the vineyards, it becomes clear that Portuguese wine is not just about the grapes, but about the people who tend them. It's about the families who have worked the land for generations, the friendships forged over a shared bottle, and the joy of a harvest well done. And so, as we raise a glass to the vineyards of Portugal, we are not just tasting a beverage. We are savoring the sun that ripened the grapes, the soil that nourished them, and the passion of the people who turned them into wine. A bottle of Portuguese wine is not just a beverage, it's the sun, the soil, and the passion of its people. From the vineyards of Portugal, we journey to the serene countryside of Japan, the home of sake. A traditional beverage steeped in history and cultural significance, sake is more than just a drink. It is an art form, a symbol of Japan's rich heritage. Imagine a tranquil setting, the scent of steamed rice permeating the air, a hush of anticipation as the brewing process begins. The creation of sake is a labor of love, a dance between man and nature. With every grain of rice, every drop of water, a new story unfolds, a testament to the tireless commitment of the master brewers. In the heart of the brewery, or kura, the brewing process comes to life. The rice is carefully washed, soaked, and steamed before friendly fungi are introduced to convert starches into sugars. This mixture, known as moromi, is then left to ferment, its flavors deepening over time. Sake brewing is a fascinating fusion of science and tradition, with each step carefully calibrated to ensure the perfect balance of flavors. The master brewers, or toji, are not just craftsmen, but artists. Their skilled hands shaping the sake's character with a savvy understanding of the elements at play. A sip of sake is a journey through the seasons of Japan. The crispness of winter, the vitality of spring, the warmth of summer, and the tranquility of autumn all come alive in your glass. The vibrant spectrum of flavors, from fruity to earthy, dry to sweet, is a testament to the versatility of this unique beverage. Sake is not just a drink, it's a conversation between the brewer and the drinker, a celebration of Japan's rich history and cultural diversity. The art of sake brewing is a testament to Japan's respect for tradition, their dedication to perfection, and their savvy ability to balance simplicity with complexity. Sake, a symbol of Japanese culture, a testament to the art of brewing. As we raise our glasses in a toast to this remarkable beverage, we are not just savoring a drink, but embracing the spirit of Japan, one sip at a time. Thank you for embarking on this journey through the world of spirits with us. From the peaty highlands of Scotland to the sun-drenched vineyards of Portugal, and finally to the serene sock breweries of Japan, we've savored the flavors that define cultures and create bonds among us. Our taste buds have been our compass, guiding us through time-honored traditions and innovative techniques, all in the pursuit of the perfect sip. In every corner of the globe, distilleries are more than just places where beverages are made. They are the keepers of history and the cultivators of experiences, where each bottle tells a story and each glass holds a memory. As we've seen, the process of distillation is an art, a science, and a celebration of the human spirit. But this journey doesn't end here. There are still countless distilleries to visit, countless spirits to taste, and countless stories to tell. And we want you to be a part of it. So, if you've enjoyed this exploration as much as we have, show us some love. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and share this journey with your fellow spirit enthusiasts. Your support helps keep our glasses full and our spirits high. Moreover, we want to hear from you. What was your favorite moment from our journey? Was it the golden hues of the whiskey in Scotland, the vibrant vineyards in Portugal, or the tranquil breweries in Japan? Or perhaps it was something else entirely. And what adventures would you like us to embark on next? Are there any distilleries or beverages that you're particularly savvy about and would like us to feature? Let us know in the comments. Remember, the world of spirits is vast and varied and there's always something new to discover. So, until our next adventure, keep savoring the world one sip at a time.